Hi everyone, welcome to the Namsim channel. My name is Currency Buklo and I'm the president for the 2021-2022 academic session. And on this video, we're going to be talking about ways to ace your first semester of your first session in the University of Phoenix. How are you going to back that 5.0? What do you need to do? But before I get right into it, please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification button below for updates on educational content that are soon to follow. So I'll get right to it. How do you get that desired CGPA for your first semester? First thing you need to do is have a plan. And how do you have a plan? Know your academic strength. I know there is this paparazzi of I just got into the rest of videos and I'm up there. But you need to wipe that off your mind and have an actual plan how you're going to do well in the exams. So how do you do this? Know your strengths and weaknesses. You're going to be doing um this one, one, four, two, um, three, four, and five. So you need to know which um, areas you're better at and which areas you're not so good at and work more on your strengths. So have a plan that will work. Okay, you can discuss with, pick a mentor by the way, discuss with your mentor about your plan. Have a plan. I can't stress the enough. Have a plan. Let's say um, your CA constitutes 30% of the course and the exam constitutes 70% in most cases. So you should have something you're aiming for. Uh, let's say you want to get 25 in your CA, it's not impossible. And you want to get, let's say, 65 in your exams, it's not impossible. To get an A, you need just 70 to get an A. But don't aim to get 70. Aim for the, uh, how do they say it now? But you get the point. So the next thing you should do is establish a study routine and read within the syllabus. I can't emphasize this enough. Most people don't have a study plan and it's very bad. Some people feel I can just pick anything at any time. No. Be very disciplined about your study pattern. Pick a study plan or have a timetable or something and read within that timetable. And another thing is please read within the syllabus. If the Faculty of Science tells you to read A, please don't go and read B. Stick to A and pass. Please. Okay, the next thing you need to do is solve past questions. The thing about past questions is it gives you an idea of what your exam is going to look like too. The natural thing to do is you, of course, you need to know what your exams will be like too. Solve past questions. It gives you an idea of someone that has just been reading the textbooks and doesn't really know what to expect in the exams. So solve past questions. Okay, so the next thing is know what works for you. This is very important. Some people are long hard uh, readers. They can read for five hours and stretch at the end of time. But some of us, myself inclusive, I can't read for five hours. I just read 30 minutes and like this. Know what works for you. And know it on time. It's very important. So be sure you know what works for you. Lastly, be confident. Hey, you're here for a reason. You're a scholar. That's why you're here. So don't let anybody uh, talk here and to be very confident in your ability. Just have confidence and with your preparation and have your covered semester, you're sure going to ease your exams. I wish you all the best this in this semester. Good luck.